Previously on Home and Away. You borrowed money off criminals and you used mum and dad's restaurant as collateral. Well, at the time, I didn't think that I was taking a risk. It didn't look like I could fail. No, you didn't think. You didn't think at all. Like, now you're asking me to bail you out again. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. Just get out. Get out before I throw you out. I need to talk to you about refinancing my loan. You know, you and I weren't meant to keep any secrets. No, but this is a family matter, OK? It's nothing you need to worry about. What, and I'm not family? Come on, you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I do. Charlie, can you please not leave like this? Talk to me when you're ready to be a full-time boyfriend again. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to do a little bit better than that. I'm sorry for being an idiot. A sulky idiot. And I'm sorry for keeping things from you. That's a start. Yeah, you were right. You don't know the whole story and I hate that. Cancel the meeting. Why? Are you kidding? Your brother is in deep with loan sharks and you want to give him $30,000. He doesn't have another option. I'm it. Even if he sells everything he owns, it's not going to be enough to cover the debt. And he can't get the money from anywhere else. What about your parents? I don't think they've got the money either. Besides, finding out about this would destroy them. OK, I get why you want to do this. I really do. But you just can't. You would be risking everything you've worked for because of your brother's stupid mistake. He's family. Yes, he's irresponsible and he drives me crazy, but he's my brother and he needs my help. I know what it's like to feel like you've got no one to turn to. That's exactly what he's going through. I can't sit there and watch him crash knowing I've got the ability to do something about it. You know, from everything you've told me about your brother, a crash might actually do him the world of good. Yeah, but he's not the only one at stake here. We've still got to consider Mum and Dad. These people can make life very difficult for them. I don't have another option. Yes, you do. Say no. Warn your parents, tell them to take precautions and let your brother get out of his own mess. Charlie, please. OK. What happens the next time Paulie's in trouble? And the time after that? He's just going to hit you up for money again. That is, if you've still got any left after this. I'll deal with it. But you're not dealing with anything. Paulie isn't going to learn if you keep bailing him out. It's only going to make things worse. I think refinancing will be a problem. So you can get the full amount? I can. Everything's in motion. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much, bro. But I did some thinking on the way over here. About me, you, everything that's happened, and uh, I've made a decision. All these mistakes you've made, they're yours. No one else's. So I'm going to call the bank and tell them to forget it. I'm sorry, Paolo. I can't help you out this time. You realise what they'll do to me? To Mum and Dad, and you're still saying no? Yeah, I am. So is this about revenge? Is this about what happened when we were younger? I'm trying to teach you to take some responsibility for the first time in your life. What about Mum and Dad? Don't you care about what happens to them? Yeah, of course I do, but this is your mess, not mine. Speak to them, maybe they can help you out. I can't believe you're letting your girlfriend manipulate you like this. This was my decision. No, Angelo. You always do the right thing. That's the difference between you and me. And you know that hanging me out to dry like this is the wrong thing to do. Something wrong with the juice? Huh? You're looking at it like it's poison. Oh, no, the juice is fine. It's life that sucks. Actually, now you mention it, my family kind of sucks too. Thanks, the whole restaurant industry. Well, the 
hospitality business is pretty tough, mate. Are you having cash flow problems? Just a few. Well, hang in there, mate. Yeah, you, know, you just got to uh, keep giving the customers what they want. They'll come back. Well, at this rate, they might not have a restaurant to come back to. There's always something you can do. Uh, you know, you uh, advertise more, or you tighten the purse strings a bit, or find a generous benefactor, eh? Desperate times, desperate measures. Actually, you're right. Thanks, Elf. No worries. Catch you later. All right. Hi, Charlie. I just spoke to Angelo. He told me his decision not to give me the money. And I know that you're partially behind that decision. And I'm just wondering why it is that you would want me dead. If I don't get them their money by the end of the week, they're going to come after me, my business, my family's business. Nothing with the Rosetta name is safe, including Angelo's. They know about Angelo's. You gotta believe me, Charlie. I wouldn't have come to Angelo if I had any other choice. Despite everything, he's my brother. I love him. Please talk to him. He'll listen to you. Hey. Hey. Um, Paulie's here. What are you doing here? Hey, just clear a few things up. Well, you can't get what you want from me, so you go to my girlfriend. No, Angela, it's okay. No, get out. I said get out. Hey. Paolo shouldn't have turned up like that. It's okay. No, it's not. It's bad enough. I've got to listen to his sob stories. Sorry, I really didn't want you to get dragged into this. It's fine. We're family, remember? Well, I don't know. Maybe I should just give him the money, get rid of him. He can't. Well, I can't abandon him either. This way, he'll be far away from us. Look, maybe there's another way we can get the money. What other way? It's just an idea, and I need to speak to someone first. But give me a couple of hours. Not mine. Sorry. Charlie, hey. What's up? Hey. Hi. You've got that serious cop look on your face. What have I done now? Nothing. But I've got a question to ask you. And before I ask it, I'm going to give you my word that you won't be in trouble. There won't be any legal ramifications. OK? It's to do with Hugo. He made a lot of money doing what he did, and he didn't have time to get it before he left. Now, I think you know where that money is. The reason I'm asking this is because if you do know, or if you've got it, then... I have a big favour to ask you. 